Good evening, everybody. Stay tuned. Uh, give me just a few minutes here to uh, get everything set up. It would just be audio. I'm in my bedroom uh, on my laptop, so you would not see me. Plus, if you know me, you know I don't get into pictures and and and, and, and videos. Um, so just stay tuned. Give me give me a couple of minutes here while I'm making sure I share it on all my pages. So give me just a second here. This is the DCN going live. Uh, stay tuned. I'm doing a couple things right here. So just hold on and hold out. All right, all right. As y'all know, I am the political agitator. I earned that right. Um, actually, I earned the name from uh, Congressman G.K. Butterfield. Um, started out. Um, uh, what was it? Um, attorney. Wow, Larry Hall out of Durham. He named me the Watchdog of the East. Um, he has a talk show on 104.3 every other Sunday. Uh, he's with the Durham Committee on Affairs of Black People. Uh, used to go to their meeting years ago. And, and plus, I travel, so I know a lot of people across the state. Um... So again, I am the political agitator, um, a professional political agitator, because I do my homework. Um, been out here since the late eighties. Um, uh, became a political and community activist. But let me get to what I came on for. I'm gonna be short because I'm gonna come back again um, with a guest uh, between uh, tomorrow and Sunday evening. Got a busy day tomorrow. Um, had decided on, had planned on going. Well, you know, tomorrow's supposed to have been the uh, second time for the Edgecombe County um, Democratic Party convention, um, which was it was scheduled for April the fifteenth. But I had been challenging the chair. Um, that notification had went out in a timely matter. Well, actually, no, no notification went out to the delegates. Um, so I had been challenging them, and they finally stepped down in the last hour and tried to put it, put it in the hands of um, the third vice chair. Uh, the first, the first vice uh, moved up because the, the former chair, Lashawn Jenkins, resigned the post about a year ago. And the uh, first vice chair never did hold a meeting. Supposed to held a meeting in 30 days to um, elect a new chair, but it never took place. Myself and Deborah Jordan and some others uh, kept uh, trying to get her to to um, call a meeting, but she didn't. Uh, she kept saying she had it. Uh, we was dealing with the Nash County Democratic Party chair getting uh, signs and information and all that kind of good stuff uh, going through the primary and then through the general election. Um, we was out here working, trying to make things happen. Uh, Marcus Willoughby, the, the chair now, um, he and I was at events videoing. Um, uh, he was videoing all as well, and um, we stayed in touch. Basically, I was in touch with him basically almost weekly, um, because we weren't talking about the party. We were doing funerals together. Uh, uh, then he, uh, he's a funeral director, young brother, um, doing some good things. But anyway, um, what I want to talk about is today... I always get information, well, people send me um, information about 
the guys be talking about me over there on WSR TV, um, Bumps and Williams and Nehemiah, but they be doing it in subliminal, subliminal messages, and um, some people know exactly who they're talking about, and, and those that they're misleading have no clue. So I tune in for a little while today, and um, towards the end of the show, um, they allow Roosevelt Higgs, Reverend Roosevelt Higgs, um, the Reverend whooped Roosevelt Higgs um, to call in, uh, talk about the Edgecombe County Democratic Party. And I don't understand why these guys allow him to call in. He is now a registered Democrat in Nash County, has nothing to do with Edgecombe County. He can't even attend our uh, uh, meetings unless he's invited. Um, the Edgecombe County Democratic Party Convention and meetings are open to all Edgecombe County Democrats. So the brother can't even come if he's not allowed. And definitely couldn't speak. But he called in today making uh, false comments about the uh, North Carolina State Democratic Party is um, out of line when they council the Edgecombe County Democratic Party Convention. Now, do he not understand that the, 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 the North Carolina State Democratic Party can do what they want to do? And since Edgecombe County um, was not organized and it came to the, to the, to the point where um, the state was notified and when I spoke to the state, the um, Chris Hardy, like I said, I know folk across the state been known him for years because I've been active. He was out of Pitt County at first, and then he moved. Uh, um, but anyway, I've been knowing uh, this guy for years, and because um, I attended the Nash County, Pitt County, Wilson County, NAACP me, Democratic Party meetings over the years. Um, but um, when I spoke to him, he said that the, the meeting was going to go on on the 22nd because the leadership said they had did what they supposed to do. And I asked him who was the leadership because we had none because the, um, no, there has been no means and no um, uh, information. Uh, we kept begging for information. They kept saying they were going to send it. They were going to send it. They were going to send it. Uh, anyway, um, after I spoke to him, he um, said he dug into it deeper and found out that I was correct. Now, this is not about me. Um, I ain't running for anything because I tell people all the time I don't like titles. And I definitely wouldn't want to be the chair of the Democratic Party because, see, we, the chair, you're not supposed to be able to to um, support one candidate over the other. And see, that ain't me. Um, so I definitely don't want don't want that, but I will do it um, because I, I I can I can I can um, I can do it. And if it came to the point where nobody took it, or I felt like. Um, someone coming forward that I do not believe is the right person and if I was nominated um I probably would step up to the plate but I'm the type of person I love working in the background you'll be amazed at how many people out front that I give them guidance from the back from the back that's right but anyway uh getting back to that Reverend Roosevelt Higgs um I've been fighting that roster for years and and had given folk um um had had, had uh, given folk the ammunition to get him out of the party but they wouldn't listen they did it their way um so they um they failed but um i remember when um i had written up a letter asking uh Bronson Williams to look at it get it back to me he never did um when Martha Johnson had did a, 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 a grievance against Roosevelt. He was the chair, uh, vice, third vice chair. Um, he didn't sign it. 
I kept telling folk that he and um, Roosevelt was hooked at the hip. And but going back to Roosevelt, he was um, in 2020. He was um, removed from the party, and basically what got him out then was my video, my um, audio of him calling my cell phone, leaving messages. Um, it's, it's, it's public information. It's documented. Uh, he just um, became eligible to run um, to 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 um, be active in the Democratic Party um, in February of this year. So he just getting back involved where he can actually participate. But see, he ain't gonna do that because he in Nash County. I bet you he has not even reached out to the Nash County Chair. Probably don't even know who she is uh, because see, she ain't gonna allow that foolishness over there. Way. Wait, wait, they've been allowing it over here and I've been fighting them and end up had to fight folk within the party because they said I was the problem because I was standing up to that, that ignorant roster. Um, he would use the planning organization against them, but see, they didn't read it. But see, I read and I know the planning organization just as well as he do or better because I don't use it for my self interest. I use it for what its uh, purpose is. But I don't understand why they are entertaining Roosevelt Higgs about the Democratic Party, especially with uh, Bronson Williams being on the council review. Now, he was not up there when they removed um, Roosevelt, but he's up there. Now, he, he's since been um, 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 on, on the council review since that time. But how in the hell can he be on the council review and he's allowed Miss to go on daily on his talk show, uh, have choose who would want him to sit on a council review. I wouldn't want him to be on no council review, and I'd I go before the council review with a grievance. So if, if somebody took a grievance out on me or if I took a grievance out on somebody else, why would I want him to be a part when he's daily allowing half truths? And when I say half truths, document it. Because he's getting the same information that is being sent out through the Edgecombe County Democratic Party uh, uh, chair. And um, so he's getting the information, but he's twisting it. Um, well, they're twisting it because they know I'm uh, a major player. See, it, 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 it makes no sense. Um, brother talking about he was gonna, I heard that the brother was on the show talking about he was gonna nominate me for the chair position. Hell, he don't talk to me and I don't talk to him. I speak to him. But why would he nominate me for the chair position when he has not spoken to me? And then also, he don't like me. So why would he even nominate me? Because he playing games. I told him the day he did that, that was for Roosevelt Hees to call in and try to discredit me. Like they're allowed to go on daily. Uh, he called in, him and Alice Davis and a couple more called in trying to discredit our black leadership. And that's one thing I would not tolerate if I was become the chair. I would call out all these so-called Democrats who are, uh, are disrespecting our, our black leadership. Now I stand behind, uh, folk when they write, uh, and, and, and I go against them when they wrong. But this mess I see going on, uh, on this talk show where I hear about, um, on daily, uh, receiving texts and emails and stuff. I don't have to look at the show to know what's going on because they feed me information just like I get information from, um, um, fighting crime. Uh, she got me blocked because I called her out. And uh, she said she won't a racist because she got black children. I'm like, hell, my granddaddy is 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 a white man, but but um, great granddaddy. But they they say I'm a racist, you know. But uh, well, you know, black folk can't be no racist. But anyway, um, it makes no sense that they allow Roosevelt Higgs to call in and try to run the Democratic Party. He's been trying to call me. I got him blocked. He's been trying to call Deborah Jordan. I haven't even asked Marcus have he called him. I'm quite sure he have. But see, the brothers need to go somewhere and sit down and shut up. He don't have, the only outlet he has is through WNCR-TV. Now, you would have thought when his son whooped that ass that he would have um, 
got somewhere and sit down and shut up. Well, he did for a few minutes. He was on the show crying, they tell me, and then um, he back at his same old games. Um, but today, after he called in, then uh, the boys start talking stupid, talking about, uh, near my, uh, uh, do I like I know everything? Uh, then he goes on, and then, um, they go on to my, you know, some folks say this show is BS, and, and, um, um, about they platform and all that. Well, brothers, call my name. Tell them I call yours. Call, say my name. There you go. Say my name, because I'm going to say yours. Stop talking about me in the in, uh, uh, in your subliminal messages. Be a man. Say what you mean and mean what you say. But all I ask is for you to tell the, tell the truth. Um. So they went on and on. So I posted on the page. I said it is BS. I've been listening to it, and I knew it was close to time to go for them to go off. And when Andre called in and made his comment, challenging them on something. I knew they were going to go over today. I knew they were. But they had seen me up there. Because they could see who come on. Um, um, when you when you click on a, a page like that. They'll say. Um, oh, so and so and so is watching with you. So they know I'm up there. You can see them when they sign on. When you go live like that. You can see a person sign on. So they knew I was up there. And I admit. A um, um, couple of days at work. When I go to break. Uh, recently, I had signed on so they could see I was up there. Then I signed back off on here for 10 minutes of break and trying to eat. So I just signed on just to let them know that I signed on so they can say something about me. Because I like, I like it when folk talk about me because um, they let me know that I'm doing something. But um, they went on and on and on with their mess. And um, what was funny, are you talking about, yeah, folks talking about what they done in the past and all that. Well, hell, my stuff is documented. Video, uh, 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 in writing, and, um, what have y'all done? It was funny when Roosevelt said, yeah, uh, uh, near my, your precinct ain't even, um, uh, organized. And Bronson says, yes, um, I saw that. And y'all gonna tell you that, uh, yeah, you'll be a good precinct chair, but you need to get with Lawrence Taylor, the previous chair. For what? If he didn't meet and uh, organize the, the, the party uh, during the window, then you don't need to get with nobody. All you got to do is get five people together and uh, organize the precinct. So that's a lie. But what tickled me is, near my pastor went on and on. Talking about what folk doing, right? And, uh, I wouldn't participate because, uh, but no, um, um, you can tell me he does this from the, from over here and all that. Well, that, that ain't no good. If your precinct don't have any voting power because they ain't organized, you ain't doing nothing, bro. So that's a lie. The precinct gotta be organized for you to have votes. Um, it was very critical. When the sheriff stepped out, uh, 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 retired, and um, we had to appoint Sheriff Clee Atkinson. You got to have votes to be able to appoint somebody. So to say that you are covered because you vote uh, uh, in a primary election. No, you don't have to be, the, the precinct don't have to be organized to vote in the primary or in the general election. But when it comes to time uh, for people on the Board of Elections and all that kind of stuff that y'all talking about, um, you need to be able to vote for that person. You can't vote for that person if your precinct ain't organized. So, have truths. Well, no, that's just a lie that you're doing something. But what I said was, also, I said I've been dealing with the Nash County Democratic Party chair, uh, um, um, working with the Edgecombe County chair, trying to make some things happen for the past two years. And I said that the, the Nash County chair is a musician at Pastor Church. Well, he come back and say, goes to show you how ignorant they are. Come back and say, oh, it ain't my church. Let me get that clear. It ain't my church. It ain't my precinct. Everybody know that's a figure of speech, and I'm quite sure he has said, and I know he has said. His church, but you're talking about the children, uh, uh, um, um, folk acting like children. Now, if that ain't childish, I don't know what is. Um, <laughs> I, I, I just don't get it. 
but he did not, yeah, uh, he said, yeah, the, the musician is, uh, 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 she is a musician at our church. Okay, well, address the main issue that I said about you not being organized and and, 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 and that kind of stuff. Because the other stuff is irrelevant. See, because you're making it personal now about me. It ain't about me, bro. I got my, I, I, my precinct organized. I, I'm handling my business and I'm on top of things. And yes, I was the one that pushed it to where the, the convention has been, uh, canceled until we, um, um, set another date until the till, till we meet again and if they had it if they were about business they will be commending me for making sure that everybody was notified and be able to meet so we can go to the convention and be unified and handle business but no they following roosevelt lee um talking stupid because i'm behind the scenes uh, making things happen. Well, not behind the scenes, but I'm out front making things happen because it's documented. The email is documented. I heard he read something the other day. Uh, see, they, they give you what they want you to have, but they don't tell the whole story. But you know, it, it, I, I just don't get it. I tried to work with these boys over the years, but I, and then Neil and I told me he cut me off two years ago. He cut me off. He ain't never been cut on. I, I, I hey, I cut the Negro off. When he first came to town, and when Andre Knight, he, he uh, called Andre Knight because he said that uh, they didn't check his mother, uh, his parents' meter at the house for the uh, um, uh, for the electricity, and 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 um, he called Andre, and Andre got the people to come back out there the same day, and then after then he turned on him and started talking junk about him and other leaders in his little newspaper. Uh, um, the, the daily defender, whatever the mess was, that we see who that was. When his mama passed away, the newspaper passed away. So, bro, go somewhere, sit down, and shut up. Um, you say you was a school teacher. Oh, I, well, you know, I know folk behind the scenes. So, I mean, whatever. But anyway, um, every time I turn around, you act like you were broke. Yeah, they pay, I hear they pay up about $90 a day to be a substitute for you. I ain't never heard about your substitute. They ain't never heard nothing about you trying to run for school board. So since you such a, a great educator, um, why you ain't actively engaged in something when it comes to education? But, uh, hey, you like it, I love it. But, you know, when you come for me, uh, I, I got some smoke behind it. So bring it on, cause I ain't mad with nobody. Um, um, I do know back when, um, Bronson ran for mayor, you had borrowed $10 from me. And so one night we were leaving the county, the uh, city council meeting. I heard you tell Bronson y'all were going to KNW. And I, I'm, I don't even like KNW like that. Never go there. I probably ain't been there one time since then. That's been, um, probably three, well, whenever he ran for mayor three years ago or whatever, four years ago. But anyway, it was funny because I heard you say you were gonna, you were gonna, um, pay for bunks of food. And just by happened while we was there, Pastor, uh, Mike Ballard and Deborah was in there and they paid for bunks of food. So I said, I know this Negro gonna pay me my ten dollars since he said he was gonna pay for bunks of food and he didn't have to. No, he went about two more months before he paid me. But anyhow, uh, bro, tell me he cut me off. Boy, you ain't cut me from nowhere. <laughs> I ain't asked you for nothing. And, um, you ain't never gave me nothing. And then I supported, um, Bronson for mayor. And, um, if I wanted to get nasty, um, when the, the, the um, Santa, Santa Claus challenged him, his residency, if I want, um, I, I could have pushed that. I could have played both sides like they do. But I don't roll like that. But uh <laughs> I could say more about that, but I leave that alone. But um brothers I ain't got time for your foolishness when you're full of half truths. I have no problem with you. Just tell the truth and stop getting on T V uh telling half truths, allowing folk to call in and tell half truths. 
I remember before Sam bought that. He called in some of and showed my privacy to a to a um a female. And 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 I called Blossom, talked to him about that. I said, Why you allow that? Okay. Hey. Y'all keep on doing what you're doing. But uh remember, hey, I don't have a TV show. Uh but I do have the DCN um live I blog. Um, when I blog, it goes to my Facebook page, um, my um, LinkedIn, my Twitter, my Instagram. I don't even re- go on my Instagram page. I don't even ever go on Twitter, but it goes to all that stuff. But um, you know, I ain't mad with y'all. You know, I, I go to the um, to the uh, Human Relations Commission meeting every second Wednesday. Near my death, he won't even look at me. Hey, don't don't blame me. Hey, I know my stuff, and I speak. That is documented. Uh, last Wednesday, uh, I mean the last meeting you had, uh, I spoke. When he look at me, hey, <laughs> don't blame me, bro. But um, you know it, it's time out for foolishness. I have told folk time and time again. When they run for something in Edgecombe County, they need to talk to me. Because if you're going to make decisions on my behalf and folk that I represent in my precinct and across the state, I serve on, I'm a precinct chair. That means I'm on the Edgecombe County Democratic Party Executive Committee. I serve on the uh, North Carolina State Democratic Party Executive Committee. I'm committed where a whole lot of folk ain't. Those means last eight, nine hours on a Saturday. Folk be getting off, I step to the end. Dedicated. I ain't got time for your foolishness. But when I got time, trust me, I'm going to give you some time. So like tonight, I got a little time. So I'm going to give you a little time. But, um, you know, it, it, <laughs> I just don't get it. And then you have folk like Alice Davis gonna come for me and talk about, uh, uh, there's if you don't lay like it, if you don't agree with it, why you up here, uh, be a leader. Well, you need to talk to your boys. Well, well, see, she another one that ain't got nothing else to do every day but tune into the drama and see that's her outlet. It ought to be named the, uh, the, the Higgs Davis show. Um, I remember, I think it was when Sherry Beasley came to town. We was at Blanchard's. And uh, that day, that was the first time Andre, I think, had came out since he had fell off the ladder. And he was in the uh, reception room. And so I remember she, uh, when we went over on that side, and she was telling me she had left her pocketbook over there on the other side. Um, and I told her, I'd go get it. Went around and got a pocketbook, bought a scarf. She didn't sit up bought a scarf. But uh it tickled me. Trying to get a drink on, pocketbook riding on the other side. I mean, I just don't understand folks. You be nice to folks, and folks think they can just uh, do you any kind of way, like that girl the other day at the school. And then when you uh, when you bring smoke, you become the daggone um um you 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 become the the, the I already know how to say it. You become the one as if you the one started, but they started a mess and then they can't take it. It's just like this TV show every day. They up there talking about folk, and then when folk talk about them, they can't handle it. I, I just don't understand. Somebody help me understand. Everybody know I do my homework. And the sad part is, I got 5,000 followers on one page. I see 300 and, f- most of the time, bro, I, when you, you can go on this, you can go on the lives like mine, when I shut down right here, you'll be able to see how many people watch this, uh, and over a time, a period of time. So anywhere from 300 people looking at his sh- uh, show, and hell, half of them up there probably friends with me on my page, so they see, I know a couple of them, some of the main players that be running the mouth and, and different ones, I know we, we're we friends on Facebook with the same folk. Oh, that's another thing. Um, 
Boston unfriended me on my main page, but he still followed me on Instagram and my other pages. He'll block me from everything. Oh, he said today, oh, yeah, uh, somebody come on uh, his page, uh, he, he gonna block him. I don't block nobody unless they get to acting stupid. You can, you can, you can say stuff, but when you get to tell just flat out lies or, or change the narrative, then that's one thing you're not gonna do. You're not gonna change the narrative on my page. Yeah, I'm in control of my page, you're like you in control of your TV station, and that's the reason why I wouldn't call in anyway. Because folk don't understand when you are in control of something. If I call into his show, he got the last say. So when I when I hang up, it's gonna be on. I'm going to be raw meat because they're going to have the last say-so. And then they ain't going to answer the phone. But they don't have to worry about that with me. And I don't have a problem with being raw meat because one thing about it, the truth will stand all the time. But I don't understand why they don't get it. I am a major force in Edgecombe County. I've been out here a long time, just like the city, Rocky Mountain City Council meetings. I have conversation with folks. I've been going to the Rocky Mountain City Council meeting long before any of the council members is up there. The only somebody that's been going longer than me is the attorney. Long before any of the council members are, have been up there. I've seen the progress. And tell a guy today, I've seen the progress. They talking about folks been up there a long time and all that kind of stuff. Well, Run. Anybody want, don't feel like they ain't doing a good job? Run. And no, who, look, when I got into politics, I joined the NAACP Democratic Party. When I went into the Democratic Party, the white folks said I was a racist, the black folks said I was militant, because I went in there by myself, standing for what's right. And I kept telling black folks, you can't do what other folks do and think you're going to get away with it. You're smarter than that. Go by the book. If you get elected, they don't uh, re-elect you. As long as you done what's right, then that's it. So be it. But don't get in there and do no stupid mess. The reason why I come some folk don't want you at the table is because they have done mess. And then when you get to the table, you find they mess out. See, that's privilege. When you're in control, and that's one thing about the Edgecombe County kind of Democratic Party, when I joined, uh, they were in control. Okay, we kept telling them that one day, it's gonna count. We're gonna become a majority black. Um, um, they were they were in control uh, with the party. They were in control with the offices. And today, the majority of the offices or uh, political offices are held by blacks. The school board is a majority black. But what are they doing? I don't even go to those meetings no more. Shouldn't have to. Fought all those years. It's documented. Fought by myself. Sometimes the only one going to the school board means I would, I would record the school board means city council means all them means the, I didn't start after the pandemic came. And I do it out of pocket. You know, they on the red, on the TV, they getting advertisement, getting, getting a little money from folk if they pay them, or uh, do they little TV program. I mean, they little church programs and stuff up there. I do what I do out of pocket because I work a real job. For one thing, and then I love people, so I do what I do out of pocket. That's why I come. I go to work every day. Yeah, I get some donations here and there, and I get some good ones, very good ones sometimes too. But you know what? That's because they like what I do and what I say. Because see, I say what other folks won't say publicly. I get a lot of credit for things that I say. I ain't. I tell people all the time, I ain't that damn smart. I hear what other people say, but I say it publicly. So don't blame me that you don't want to hear them truths. When I talked about the platform of the show and what people are saying, I'm telling them what other people are saying. I don't care what they do, as long as they ain't talking about me. And I had to come back and um and um and set the record straight. Because it's a mess about um, not saying nothing. See, when folk hear one-sided stories, then they think it's true. Like I understand, um, uh, well, this common sense is, 
uh, uh, called in today to me. I've been blocked from WNCR and uh, WHIG TV. No, sir. I ain't, hey, I ain't blocked from no WHIG TV. I call in if I want to. I don't call in. I don't even listen to them. Don't look at them. And obviously, you see I'm not blocked from WNCR TV because I posted on their page today. And I can uh, go up there and look at it when I want to. So I'm not blocked from there. So, you know, you have truths. But uh, like I told Ellis David, what you, what you coming for me for? I, I, I didn't come on the show to hear what you got to say because you ain't talking about nothing. But I'm going to shut it down now. I think y'all get my message. Um, But like I said, I'm coming back on between tomorrow and Sunday with the guests. And we're going to talk about what's been going on in the Democratic Party and other things. I've been trying to tell folk for a long time. We need to sit down and have some, some, uh, do some lives, um, um, monthly. You have them other folk out there, Santa Claus and TJ Walker and all of them out here doing, doing lives and stuff, telling their story and doing they love mess and, 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 and stuff. So y'all better tell your story because I'm going to tell mine. I don't put in the work. I've been out here a long time. And, and folk been trying to discredit me for years, but they can't do it. You ain't got nothing on me. Nothing. I don't drink. I don't mess around with. I laugh and talk. I joke with women. But at the end of the day, they laugh and joke with me. They go home. They, they, they go home. Um to their, their their husband wives I go home to my wife so I'm going to shut it down there y'all have a good night because I got things to do tomorrow I work on my job so I can make sure I have a free day and all that kind of stuff on my real job so I can do what I need to do on the weekend I love all y'all but uh, I, I, like I have told folk recently Christmas day, I took six years old. My zero, uh, my my tolerance 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 level is at zero. I ain't got time for no foolishness, and I will not entertain foolishness. Be it in the church, in the church, uh, at home, anywhere. I ain't got time for. It. I ain't putting up with it. it. Makes no sense. I ain't that one that don't say nothing. I participate. So y'all have a good night. Love you. Um, I'm on social media. All my contact information. Hit me up. Want to talk about it? Anything. But I'm going to tell you one thing. When you got a friend in Camilla's dancing, like uh, Boston said, Camilla's Butch dancing, the second, hey, you got something. Because, hey, I'm loyal to folk. And I tell you that um, I can be your best friend or your worst nightmare. And I'm going to do it with love. It ain't going to be out of spite. So, y'all have a good night. Talk to you later.